Word problems. We know students hate them. In fact, we suspect even the teachers hate them. But I've got a fantastic way to help students and teachers understand how to attack those word problems. Let's get started. All right, so um, basically the idea is, and I'm gonna get myself out of the way here, tape diagrams. It's all about tape diagrams. Now from Singapore, there's this thing. It's called the eight step model drawing process. I'm gonna walk you through what the eight step model drawing process looks like. And um, basically, take a look at this problem for a second, and I'm gonna kinda un, uh, turn off my face. I want you to think about how you might solve this problem. You're not so sure, are you? It's kinda tricky, isn't it? And so, here's what we're going to do. Um, that was kind of an awkward, Pause. That was kind of felt weird. So anyway, <laughs> let's get started. And so I'm going to zoom out and, and let's go. So uh, the eight steps, here we go. The eight steps. Step one, you are going to read the entire problem. Step two, you're going to turn the question into an answer sentence with a space where the number would actually go. Step three, you're going to determine who and what is involved in the problem. Then you're gonna draw the unit bars of equal length, or if you only have one unit bar, you're just gonna draw the bar. Step five, you're gonna reread each sentence and go back and revisit that bars, those bars that you drew, and you're gonna revise them. Step six, you're gonna then put the question mark in the drawing that represents where the answer lives. Step seven, you're gonna do your computations on the side, you're gonna do all the arithmetic on the side, and then step eight, you're gonna fill in that blank space that you created in step two. So that's a quick uh, run through on those eight steps. Let's make meaning of those eight steps with an actual example. And so let's, let's do this. All right, so we've got four fifths. Now, first off, let's let's do this. Step one, step one is uh, read the entire problem. Okay, so four fifths of the number of boys at a school are equal to four sevenths of the number of girls. The school has 480 students total. How many more girls than boys are there? Good, we're done with step one. Cha ching Now it's time for us to do step two. So step two says, okay, turn the question into a sentence with the ants with the, a space where the answer goes. So the question, how many more girls than boys? So what we might write is, oopsies, get out of there. What we might write is there are blank more girls. than boys, all right? Now, I always put it at the bottom. You can put it anywhere you want. There's no real rule about where you write that sentence, but the rule is you definitely need to write that sentence. So that's step two, wah, bam. All right, now step three. Step three is determine who and what is involved. Well, it says four fifths of the boys are equal to four sevenths of the girls. So who's involved? Boys and girls. So I'm gonna put boys and girls. And then it says what is involved? Well, the who is the boys and the girls? What is it? It's the number of boys and the number of girls. So I'm just gonna kind of put a, a number sign. No, that's a not a hashtag. That's just the number of boys and, and the number of girls. Other word problems, we might be talking about pounds if we're talking about the weight of things, or we might be talking about dollars if we're talking about um, dollars, or uh, toys, like the number of toys that the boys own and the number of toys that the girls own. So anyway, that's step three, check, we are done, wah, bam. Now step four says, to draw unit bars of equal length. So we are going to draw 
two unit bars of equal length. Now, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes, let's just keep it real here, sometimes you don't know if that those bars are supposed to be really long or really short, you just don't know. And so the idea is students are gonna have to normalize mistakes. Oh, look at that. I drew my picture, but the bars are too long. Or, oh, look at that, I drew my picture, but the bars, I made my, my equal bars too small. And so we're gonna normalize mistakes as a natural part of the learning process. Students are gonna get familiar and comfortable with the idea of erasing their uh, initial drawings and starting again. Better than erasing, just cross it off and do it again on another piece of paper or somewhere else on the page. That's what I like my students to do. All right, so I'm gonna get myself out of the way again. And then, all right, so, there we go. All right. And so step four, draw bars of unit of equal lengths done. Now we're on step five step. Whoopsies. I'll get rid of that. Step five is now reread each sentence one at a time and revise. So let's go back. And it says four fifths of the boys at a school are equal to four sevenths of the girls. Well, we already have equal bars. So that means this is the four fifths and this is the four sevenths. So let's see, I might cut this into four fifths, which means I have to draw in an extra unit to represent the fifth. And then down here for the girls, that represents the four sevenths. So I need to put in one, two, uh oh, look at that. See, I'm running out of room. There's that three, is, there's my four sevenths is the girls. So here's the four sevenths is the girls, four fifths is the boys, All right? So then it says the school has 480 students total. Oh my goodness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline this whole thing and I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit and move it over here. The wonders of what we could do with Jamboard that you can't do in real life. Because it says the school has 480 students total, so I'm gonna do that in uh, blue right here. This represents 480 students total. Uh, now that's step five. I keep reading it. Okay, four fifths. Do we have four fifths? Yeah, we do. It's right here. Do we have four sevenths? Yeah, we do. It's right down here. And there's our five units. There's our seven units. And then do we have the fact that 480 students are, are uh, represented? Yeah, it's right here. The total school is 480. So we are officially done with step five. Chick ching we're done. And now I'm going to, oopsies, whoa, get rid of that. Undo, and let's reveal step six. Step six says, put the question mark in place. So the question says, how many girls, how many more girls than boys are there? So where does the answer to our question live? It lives right here. That is our question. That's where our question lives. Now we can put it above or we can put it below. I think I like it below better. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna erase the, my initial question mark. Good. So now I'm ready for uh, step seven. Ste oh, so we gotta cross off, hello. Let's cross this off. Uh, one, two, three, four, there's cross off five, cross off six. Now step seven, work your computations to the side, all right? So what I might do is I'm gonna use my Jamboard magic and I'm going to make this even smaller. And then I'm gonna do my, my, my calculations over here. It says, um, well, since, since we know that the whole thing is 480, that means these 12 units represent 480. So 12 units is equal to 480. 
Well, doing a little bit of division, one unit must be 40. Doing division. And so that means we can actually fill in every single one of these units with a 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. And we could just fill in this entire model with a bunch of 40s because our calculations over here on the right says one unit is 40. And now we're able to see, the, remember the question mark right here? The question mark is right there. Those two units is our question mark. So we can say two units equals 80. And so now we know there are 80 more girls than boys. I'm gonna look, let you look at all that sort of stuff. Oh, by the way, what did I do? So we did step seven, work computations to the side. We just did step eight, which is answer your question in that box below, in that line, in that sentence space below. And there you go. There are 80 more girls than boys. All right, now, if we wanted to, we could do another example. I want you to just look at this problem. I want you to consider, consider um, pausing the video because I'm going to solve it, but I'm going to put the speed on super fast so you'll get to watch me as I design it. Uh, but I want you to pause the video and give this a try following these eight steps over here. All right, pause the video. All right. And that was a, a lot of work there going through those eight steps. And as you can see, we finally got that uh, those eight units represents 112 students. Um, the key thing, I think, is the idea of recognizing that these two units was equal to 28. And that wraps up this lesson on how to use the eight step model for drawing um, tape diagrams so that you can understand the word problems. I'm gonna include links to that eight steps in the comments below. So make sure you uh, click on that link.